Hello, my name is Linda Hansen, Precinct 9. I am the proponent of Warrant Article 74, a resolution in support of the Mass Fair Share Constitutional Amendment. The Fair Share Amendment is a ballot question that will be on the upcoming November 8th statewide ballot. I bring this article before town meeting because of this amendment's potential to positively and significantly impact residents across the state, as well as its potential to positively affect our municipal budget here in Arlington. Our current state constitution prohibits a graduated income tax. All residents, regardless of income, pay the same income tax rate. The Fair Share Amendment would amend the state constitution to create an additional surtax of 4% on annual income that exceeds $1 million. The first million would be taxed at the flat tax rate of 5%. Only income above that amount would be subject to the surtax. Funds raised from the surtax would be specifically directed to transportation and public education. It would raise an estimated additional $2 billion in revenue per year, every year, and the fact that it would be sustained funding is incredibly important. In these sectors in particular, one-time funding is not enough. Ongoing sustained revenue is critical for long-term planning and investments. If passed on the transportation front, this additional revenue would serve to maintain and improve our public transportation system. It could support climate resilient transportation measures like electrifying more of our public transit system and allow us to invest in alternative transportation modes like protected bike lanes. It would also provide funding to repair and maintain our roads and bridges. On the public education front, this additional revenue could help pay for universal pre-K for working families allow the state to fully fund the Student Opportunity Act for K-12, which increases state funding to municipalities to more accurately reflect the true cost of educating students. Finally, it could help the state reinvest in public higher education, including community colleges and state colleges and universities, allowing young people to graduate without crushing debt. This amendment was carefully crafted to consider which residents are in the best position to pay a little more toward these critical state services. By directing this tax at those earning in excess of $1 million annually, this tax targets the increasing income inequality in our state. The top 1% of income earners in Massachusetts now collect 24% of the total income in the state. You need to make almost $600,000 a year to be counted among the top 1% of earners. So this measure would affect less than 1% of mass residents. The additional 4% surtax on income over a million dollars would bring the top earners into closer alignment with everybody else in terms of percentage of total, total taxes paid relative to income. The additional revenue would support citizens across the state, particularly lower income residents and people of color who have been disproportionately impacted by reduced state aid going to these sectors. Finally, this change would benefit our municipal budget by increasing state aid for public school students and increasing funds available for transportation related projects. In closing, I urge you to support this resolution at town meeting and to consider supporting this amendment on November 8th. Thank you so much.